Yes. What am I thinking about? Yes, like so I I I wrote myself up a ticket in the a in the AM hours of the last nights for the project. Let's see. Um what's it say? Move away from stringly typed APIs. String keys? What were we thinking? Use enums for the keys. Why are we serializing skills and stuff anyways? There are only ever going to be the same number of skills throughout the game. Other than being able to internationalize the labels, descriptions, etc., hard code it. So yeah, that was a that was my note to myself from 1 a.m. last night. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not nice to myself. It's okay. So what else do I got? I got to uh, organize the project. Got to organize it. We got to move the date off somewhere. Yeah, we got to start using the mods and the libs and the stuff like that to to make our project pretty. But all right, so let's uh. Get some tunes. Let's, uh, you know, and get to coding, I guess. There we go. All right. So, yeah. So, I even got some serialization stuff working after the stream last night. It turns out that something about the borrowing mechanics of what it is that I was attempting to do, I'm not sure it was possible to do. So there's, so there's that, but it's okay, because then I was like, fine, screw it, everything is a string now, everything, that's a string, and that's a string, and all the things are strings, and it worked. Yes, so I got, I got it to where we could now, I've got these ROM files, I've got Bob Chansey here, saved off in a ROM file, I've got these kinds here, saved off in a ROM file, I've got all these skills here saved off in a ROM file. And check out, check out ROM file. It's so awesome. You know, for anyone who's familiar with the uh, JSON. You know, this is uh, the Rust object notation like we were talking about. You know, at first glance it looks almost slightly samey. But then it looks very different-y, yes? So we've got this little uh, directive here that says to do an implicit sum. So check out the fields here, right? We've got attribute, right? Label description the same for all of them right what don't you see a b wow and like look we could just not even bother to include it why because i was able to tell said right that let's see for the, it's probably for the skills right so yep here we go here are some skills and we set to use a default here if you didn't find it yeah so look at that. So we got some arcane arcane background here. We said option string. The default option, apparently the default for option is none, which is uh, good to know. And then what? Then we come up in here into our skills, and if we don't specify it, it's none. If we do specify it, thanks to this x, thanks to this uh, directive here. It's some gifted, some magic, some miracles, some psionics, some weird science. Again, not all of these things are actually making it into the game. I'm just throwing stuff in there, right? See what sticks. Sort of a thing. Just, just mm, poof, catapulting a bunch of crazy stuff up against the wall, seeing what happens, seeing what we can, do, you know, use and do, deal with, etc. All right, got a couple of viewers today. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, let's um. Let's see who else is there. I know Wolfie's there. What, what do we got? <laughs> ah, all right, sweet. Let's uh, let's get some coding done. Like I said, so 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 I was doing all of this stuff. I got some serialization working. You know, all of all of this stuff. It works pretty good. Yeah. So we got a. Uh, here's our serialized bomb. Here's our here's our kinds. Here's our skills. This is from running it. So just to, in case I yeah. Here we go. See it all runs pretty quick. I think the slowest part is probably printing it all out, uh, given how con serialized output to the console works. Let's see. And what else do we got? And so here in our main, you see we don't define Bob anymore at all. We uh, load up the kinds from our various load functions, which again, we're probably going to re re be replacing. And it was just like, yeah, just... Just do the result thing, I guess. Just question marks everywhere, rather than like putting in super ugly uh, 
error checking code at the moment. So if there were a problem, the application would probably just crash, and it's fine. Because that's what we would want at this moment in time, rather than having ugly error checking code. Do we want that sort of thing for production? Absolutely not. But uh, this is just, uh, this is prototypey code. This is just, you know, make it work. You know, step, step one with uh, big projects like this, right? You want to make it work. Step two, make it work well. Step three, make it work fast. You know, stuff like that. So, uh, so even once you get stuff to work, you're not done, right? And so we do have some data models. They are defined. Right, we've got a few things here to play with, and what I think that we want to do though is maybe we could satisfy a couple of our little tickets here at once. And I think I want to just start putting this stuff off into another place outside of my main, so we can we could we can start playing with with that there, right? Let's see, where a don't they star me okay. Okay, I'm gonna put up a new documentation window. Yeah, break all the things, throw all the things. Woo! Alright, super delayed Wolfie. I that I am super delayed for not having seen it before. <laughs> Either way, right? Let's uh let's check it out. What do we want? What do we want? Rust book. Yeah, give us some of that Rust book. All right, Rust book. How do we do? Uh... Yeah, we're gonna we're, we need to manage our growing project with crates and modules and things. So I think packages is indeed what we're looking for. And part of the reasons I need to look this up again is that there seemed to be big difference between 2015 edition of Rust and the 2018 edition of Rust. Uh, I just saw that question mark right there. I, I'm pretty sure I saw that as it popped up. Caught that one, Wolfie. And now you can figure out what the delay is there. <laughs> Alright, so, what do we got here? Yeah, we want to uh, create a new binary thing, else to my project, see the source, yep, sure, everything's now in main, and that's kind of lame, right? But now we're, we want to do all these mods and things, and yep, I kind of, I get mods. Trying to figure out how the file structure goes, though. We've got crate, front of house, hosting, serving, etc. All right, sure, why not, right? We got uh, uh huh, H U H. I just saw you type that. I'm not sure what you're hunting about. A lot. Oh, you what? Anyways, but someone in this song is going to find some sort of a promised land, and that sounds really interesting. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... See, we got some cargo builds, got some other stuff. Front of house. <laughs> cargo build. Front of house. Alright. You need to tell me the basic things I need to know. Paths for referring to an item in the module tree. Oh, I think what I want here is going to be here in this last section. The delay is a lot, Wolfie says. Wow. That's a... Uh, well, but, you know... Eh? <sighs> yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> to tell you. Uh... We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We're gonna make some stuff happen. Alright, so... Yeah, let's separate some stuff out into different files, right? So we've got... Hmm... Yeah, we wanna move front the front of house module to its own file. Source front of house. Yeah, you can do some pub mod hosting. Mm-hmm. In summary. Yeah. Oh, this thing did not tell me much, did it? It's like, look, you can move stuff to its own thing. And it's like, alright. I mean, I knew that. I was hoping for, like, good ideas about, like... Whatever, screw it. We'll just... 
<laughs> Let's just figure it out. I don't care. Alright, so this is, uh, what? So that's there, right? Um, declaring in front of house. Alright, that's inside of Lib. LibRS, right? We still have to have, like, LibRS, etc. Packages and crates, etc. Let's see, let's double check. I don't know. So what if we said... Alright. Alright. Let's, uh, let's... I'm just gonna minimize that guy there. Yeah, she's gonna find some sort of promised land. Alright. Let's try for fun, right? We're just gonna... We're just gonna make a... We're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep it simple, I think, right? And we're gonna say something like, what do we want? We want some sort of like, you know... Uh... Model. All right, got some sort of model RS. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about adding stuff to Git in a moment, right? Files not included in the module tree. Yeah, I, I, I know. Just chillax, buddies. Let's see. Should I put these at the very top of the file? Who knows, right? So, like, what? You might want to say mod model. I think that's what we do. And then what? Are you happy now? Perhaps. All right, let's, start, let's throw our data model in there. See what happens. Let's see. Deed stats. Yeah, there we go. They were already we we're already starting to destroy all of the things. Excellent. Excellent. Now what do we need? We need a few things, right? We need the. Um. Well, I'm not hundred sure if we need these things, but let's. Let's keep them for now, right? Because we're using them currently, and we'll get back to them later. All right. Cool. So I think that we still do. We do we need a hash map in here? All right. Hash map. Yes. Looks as though we could still use a hash map. Standard collections hash map. All right. Yeah. Do that. Use std. Collections. Hash map. Alright. A little less buggy in here now. Very good. And naive date. Yeah, naive date's pretty cool. I like naive date. So we should be able to just, yeah, copy him, throw it out there. Boom. Alright. So we got some chrono, that stuff and things. Cool. I think all of these things are already pub. So that's fun and good. Yeah, they're already public. Cool. Now, how do we fix this guy up, right? We're like, okay, well we've got... Yeah, import it. Hey, check that out. So we've got a, we've got a model here. So that is cool. I'm not sure how well we should namespace stuff for our executable. Maybe a lot, right? I do like that it says crate here. So as to differentiate it from a lot of the other stuff that we've got going, right? Yeah, so for now let's go ahead and stick with individual imports rather than starring it up. So we can see exactly what it is that we are bringing over. And yeah, it looks like we need dude stats. Is, is that what I want? Oh, I just did something. Oh goodness. Yeah, I told I told IntelliJ to reorganize my file for me. Uh, it reordered things in a way that I was not expecting. Uh, I do like that S that uh, the standard library is at the top. I do like that things appear to be in alphabetical order. So that is good. Uh, our crate stuffs at the bottom, with our you know calling out. I mean, like uh, our module named model, right? It's right there. That all looks good. So now let's see if it compiles. All right, we got some warnings. That's fine, right? 
Ooh, two warnings emitted. Look at that, and why? Because we're not using Chrono Date in here. We will if we want to come back into hard coding a, a Bob Chansey sort of a character, right? So I think we can just comment him out. And I think that, was that really it? Chrono Naive Date? Ah, and, and uh, Sir. Right, because we're not defining the types here for those uh, derives to be used on, therefore we don't need to import it here. And we can recompile again. It works. And look at that, it runs. Oh, we, are, we, we did some project organization. Cool, super easy, barely an inconvenience. I do remember there being some weird stuff in the 2015 edition Rust where like, let's say I wanted to have model here as a folder. Right, with a bunch of sub-modules in it. Well, what you would do is you'd have, like, a directory named model. And then inside of that directory, you'd have mod rs. And then next, and then as siblings to mod rs, right, you would have a variety of things. Like, uh, like yeah, yeah, you have the sub-modules, right? From what I understand, now in the 2018 edition, you would just have this file here. And then you'd have a directory also named model, and then you would have its sub, its sub things there. I think that's so. And they said like, oh, the purpose for that was like, you know, to get rid of all those tabs with it. We're like mod, 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 mod. <laughs> that was what they were trying to do. So we'll uh, we'll see how well that works. Um, when we get around to having more sub modules and things, but for now. Having a module named model to help us do our data modeling. That sounds good. That sounds like that's what we want. Oh, but now what we're we gonna do. Alright, so let's double check what our main does. Right now he loads a bunch of stuff using these functions into hash maps. So I'm, I'm thinking that with our getting rid of the stringly typed stuff, right, that we're going to want to basically get rid of all this stuff. We want to hard code it. Well, okay. So what, what do we want to hard code? There are various aspects we want to hard code and some other things uh, that we don't really want to hard code, right? What don't we want to hard code? Strings that could be internationalized, I guess. Not that I expect that this project will go on for, I don't, like, like, who knows how long we'll even get to program on this project, right? It's just mostly having fun, playing around. Who knows how far it'll get to. But theoretically, yeah, if you wanted to have the descriptions and the labels for these uh, for these types of guys, right? Like for, for our kinds here, right? For our skills. Like uh, especially the, the labels and the descriptions. This is the stuff that, yeah, being able to pull that from the file would be good, and then uh, and then later on having like different uh, internationalized sort of like versions, right? That's kind of that's what you want to do there. So I think we're done with a bunch of that, but I think we need to just yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here, but I think we have to basically get rid of it all. Yeah. Yeah, fun programming exercise. What is the the making of a game? Oh, it's a uh, it's the most intense programming exercise one could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of that guy. What do I want? Do we still want to do any of this stuff? Maybe ish. I don't know. I got half a mind to just comment out half the stuff and uh, see what we got going, right? Because uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think we're, I think first thing we're going to do is we're going to start fixing our mistake. What was our mistake? Stringly typing the things. Yep, making the game. Making the game, lots of fun. Very good programming exercise. All right. All right. 
Hey, I look nice. Send me some of them emojis, I guess. That's quite a few. Don't spam just emojis, though, yeah? Spamming just emojis makes, uh, things unhappy. Uh, I forget what. It's like, I don't know. Some sort of chat bot moderator things I've got going. But, uh, but yeah, it's good to see you, Owl of Night. Welcome to the stream. I think... Yes. Alright, sweet. So what are we doing? Ugh, what are we doing today? I think I was going to... Alright. It's time to get programmed, right? That's the idea, I think. So now we have we have some data here. We can just go ahead. I want to split that off to the right, right? Split and move right. Boom. Got it. Loving it. Wolfborn there with the Pikachu emoji coming in hot. All right. What else we got? So we got some. I don't know. Should I uppercase these? Lowercase these? What's the rust sort of? Um, what's the rusty way of doing this? If I was like, yo, dude, tell me about defining an emu. Like, I don't know, he's got some uppercase ones there, I guess, right? Uh, you got any more enums in here for me to look at as examples? All of those have uppercase words, and they're upper, they start with upper, and they're kind of camel cased. Alright, we'll do that. Sounds good. Alright, academics, athletics. Common knowledge, driving, electronics, right? Fighting, gambling, uh, hacking. What else do we? What else do we want? Uh, healing, uh, intimidation. Wow, what? Where are we at? A hundred? A hundred? You said that was the appropriate cutoff width. Not I. Not I. So, little thing in my settings I don't have to change there to bring that back. Alright, so this is this is 80 though, basically. Yeah. Excellent. Good to know. Anything that falls off the edge here is too long. Gotta keep your code looking pretty. Yeah, and not just for like super widescreen view, right? just like how books don't go on forever with their words, right? You don't just, woo, go on forever. Now, they have a certain number of words per line, you know, and that's like every book. Words and or characters. That's, and they cut it off, right? So let's see here. In, so we are intimidation. Notice. What are we looking at? Occult. Performance. Persuasion. Repair. Research. Yep. Fell off the end. Boom. Bring it back. Right. Writing. Science. Shooting. So that means we can still basically have this guy here, I think, right? We don't need the attributes so much, but we still need the labels and the descriptions to do the thing I was talking about with like, yeah, maybe we can internationalize it or something, or at least have something that's easy to edit, to, to play with the strings, right? So we don't have to recompile every time we want to make like a little change to that, right? Which is fine and good. So, uh, let's see here, we got shooting, what? Uh, stealth, right? Survival. Taunt. Thievery. Alright. Now what? Now we've got a few special ones. Focus. Spellcasting. Faith. Scion. Scion. Psionics. 
Uh, weird science. Oh, look at that. That looks, that looks pretty good. All right. I think those are all our skills. All the skills you could possibly have at the end. Excellent. And again, that's uh, this is it's not really a finalized list so much as it's just a starting point where we're using uh, the Sandwich World role-playing game system as kind of the basis for like yeah, you know, what would a what would a role playing game different than those D and D based ones we're all familiar with look like? The computer world, yeah. So we're just kind of we're gonna we're gonna explore, we're gonna experiment, we're gonna figure some stuff out, and uh, yeah, it's all it's all going to be cool and good. All right, so we got a bunch of that. Very good. You know, all the rest of them are alphabetized. Let's alphabetize these guys, right? There. Um, faith focused spell casting. Uh, P comes before S. Alright. Cool. Got it. Sweet. Look at, look at all that. That's just, that's fantastic. All right, so now what can we do? We can, uh, see, how do we define methods on stuff inside of Rust again? <laughs> uh, I know. What is this? Impl skill type. All right, you ready, ready for some <laughs> craziness? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's, um, let's see how hard Cody we can get. Right, because I was thinking about like how to do things properly, and I was remembering some examples I was going through in the books, and it seemed like I was like, okay, all right, I kind of see what it was doing there. All right, so if you had like a uh, an enum that represented coins, right, you might have a function in the enum that said like value up, and you'd pass in the coin, right? Right. So, or is even a selfie? Is even, I could have even been a self function, right? So you just say you know value. Then what? You get, you get stuff of things. So what are we what are we looking to do here? I think we're looking to do this, right? All right. So we're gonna say function, All right? Linked attributes. That's a f all right, and we're going to return an adder type. All right, and now we can match. Now we need to take in amper self. Now we're going to match self case. And while are there a lot, right? So academics. Is it? Is it a colon? What am I doing here? And now we can say what? Adder type smarts. Huh. All right, and then for fun, we'll just come here, right? And we'll just. All right, and let's say adder type small. All right. Does that compile? Did I do good? Did I do wrong? Ugh, that's the problem. Switching between languages too much, man. Too much switching. All right, so we did some impuls in here. See, that's what I was talking about, right? Option enums and its advantage over stuff and things. Where's my matching? Really? All right, match expression matching. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, I don't need to say case at all. How about that? Rust simplifies it even further. I don't need to say case at all. You just write stuff. Cool. Now, what's your malfunction? I expected a skill type, but I found an adder type. Uh, did I, was it an arrow? Is, is that what I'm missing? Yeah, it's an arrow. 
Of course it is. All right. Sweet. All right. That looks pretty good. I like that. We're just playing around here, right? No, but we're gonna, now we're going to make this exhaustive. So we don't need that one so much, right? So what we could basically do here then is take all of that, copy paste. And then what we're going to want is this here, right? So we come into athletics, but all right, driving. Boom. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so that looks that looks pretty good. All right, I guess healing's already off on its own line, which is fine, right? kind of uh, going through here getting all these guys ready to go all right Add a comma there. Looking good. All right. So now we should fill it out with what these things are actually. Yeah. Now what is this thing's problem? Athletics variable is never used. What are you talking about? This is a match. Did I mess something up? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. All right. Coin. Penny. Boom. Right, you're happy with this one, though? Uh-huh. Do I need to say skill type in front of all of them? Maybe, right? That does seem happy. Yes, alright. Skill type in front of all of them it is. Oops. Stop it. Oh, what you do sometimes, intelligent. All right, here we go. I swear, man. There we go. Oh. No more of that weird nonsense messing with me. All right, cool. We're, we're gonna get this stuff going, man. It's gonna be crazy. Crazy! Alright, so the other question is, how would a hash map do performance-wise compared to this sort of a crazy thing? I don't know. Hmm. I'm suspecting not well. Especially given that the default hashing algorithm is trying to be cryptographically secure or something for some reason. Like, most programs need that. Which is absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, whatever. So... There we go. Bam! Got that. Making all the stuff look pretty. Sizing everything up. So we can come in for another round and then figure out what the linked attributes for these things should be. All right? Because now we could, like, look at this skill type right in here. We can ask you, hey, skill type. Yeah, what's your what's your linked attribute? Oh, yeah, it's one of these guys. Bam. Hard, yeah, hard-coded right in there. Don't have to worry about it. 
Yeah, I kind of wonder, what's the performance of Match? Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> and we we're just talking about whether or not you know, a hash map would be better. You knew. We could, uh, we could always play around with little micro benchmark tests later on, right? We could, uh, we could figure out some stuff like that. Hmm. Alright, but this way at least you can ask any of these guys. Yo, what's, what's my link attribute? I'll tell you. Right there. Boom. Done. Alright. So we, what do we want? We want some athletics? Yeah. So that's going to be agility. Common knowledge is smart. Driving is agility. Most of these are going to be smart, so agility. Oops. Electronics is definitely smart. Fighting is agility. Gambling, I believe, is smart. Attacking is smart. Healing is smart. Intimidation is spirit. Notice is smart. Occult is smart. Performance is spirit. Persuasion, spirit. Repair, smart, I believe. And if Wolfborn would like to help me check, because she knows the rules, then that would be beneficial, yes. Alright, so we've got repair, smart. Research smarts. Writing is agility, I do believe. Science is smarts. Shooting is agility. Stealth is agility. Survival. Hmm. I'm not sure what survival is. Could be smarts. Could be smarts. Taunt is smarts. Thievery, maybe agility? Let's see. I guess I could look these things up myself. I mean, I theoretically have a list right here to the right of me. Where I could check from. Which is theoretically correct. But I don't believe it. Linked uh, I'm asking you to double check the linked attributes of these skills. Let's see. So faith, I'm pretty sure, is spirit. Focus is... I'm not sure. Maybe it's spirit? Psionics is smart. Spellcasting is smart. Weird science is likely smart. This is all just from memory. Alright. So I could, I could publish to you the list of what I've got, and you could tell me if there are any discrepancies, is the idea here, I think. And that will make for the easiest. So... Whoop. You let me know how well that goes. Alright, got some prep stuff, word stuff, I don't care. Alright, just... Alright, looking good, look pretty. Right here, just cleaning up some things, guys. Just thinking. All about the cleanup. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. So what are we? What are we doing? What are we playing at? Users. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Ah, uh, so. All right, so we got some skills. We're hard coding the stuff now. Uh, to get rid of a lot of the uh, the nonsense that we were dealing with in terms of the serialization problems, etc. We were trying to do some sort of a stringly typed API, which sounds like uh, not good, right? Uh, now we're just going back to like, nah, enums. Everything's enums. Right? So we've determined that for a given linked attribute, Right, right, yeah, so for, for the linked attribute for each of these skills, this is good. Other thing that we could do, so we want the labels, I think, and the descriptions to still be in a file like this. You know, we, we could load those up, we could play around, you know, you could change them without modifying the code at all. This is mostly for displaying stuff to the user anyway, right? It's not stuff that we're really that our business logic is terribly concerned with. The stuff in here, yes, this is what our business logic 
is concerned with. That's the idea. So, so we've got, let's go ahead then and put this guy up first, above skill type, just because. Uh, skill type references outer type, outer type does not reference skill type, that's not thus far that I am aware of. Also not aware of skill of outer type needing anything like this. Except for maybe its own little sheet here of a pretty labels, right? That'd be the uh, idea there. Uh, Alright, second staff, hopefully. Looking good, let's see. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so attributes look good. What do we got here? We got some die types still, right? That's good for, you know, we want, we want to be able to roll dice. Hindrances are good. We have these types of major, minor, either. It sounds good. We're also only going to have so many... Cell looks good. Uh, I think that, so you're, you're trying to tell me that the skills and the linked attributes that I gave you uh, look correct. And uh, that is, alright, thank you. Appreciate the uh, double check there, Wolfborn. So, um, hmm. Alright, so we're starting to, you know, go back away from a thing that we had done. And we're moving towards something else. So, what do we need to... Do to finish this for skills right I feel like this right here these don't them being strings that's not good there's only gonna be so many edges so many hindrances uh all okay so cool so it all looks good sweet thank you wolfie abilities looks like it's gonna be a thing i'm not sure if i like this being type anymore though because here we've got hindrance types of being major minor either right and that's fair for a hindrance type Hmm. Right? So let's, uh... I don't know, should we just call it skill? Isn't there already something called skill? Yes, there is. That's not really a skill, is it? No, this one is. This one's a skill. Okay, then maybe we're replacing this whole guy. Kind of, right? Right. I mean, this still looks useful to have something like it, but what are we combining it with? What are we combining it with? We want to combine this with... Hmm... See, these, uh... So, we got these labels here, we've got these, uh, things here... In background... Oh, that's another thing that we should probably hard code up in here. But here we've got a linked attribute, right? Cool. Now, we could basically copy a fair amount of this. And then we're going to delete more than half of it. But it's okay. Copy. Paste. Whoa, what's going on here? Did I mess up something? Alright, let's, uh, let's try that again. I think that this is what we want. Cool, got it. Now what? I think we basically just want to come over here. Bam, look at that. Linked A, B. And this is going to be an option. Okay. But of what? Of our king background to do what we're going to return here some right and then we'll we'll to, we'll to fix we'll to fix this right right so for now let's go ahead and make that what a a stir, don't care, right? All right, cool. We can replace that later with something better. 
Yes. Yeah. Let's, yeah. We'll replace that later with something better. Boom. Boom. Hit all these guys. Looking pretty. All right. What's your What's your problem? Well, none of them say some. Oh. Of course they don't. Which is what I should have done to begin with. There we go. I'm still trying to move away from extremely tight stuff, but until I have more emails with the stuff that I need, right? This is kind of what we're going to do here. So, miracles. Uh, this is what gifted. Alright, psionic. Uh, and then, uh, what? Magic. And then, uh, yeah, so. Weird. Sorry. Cool. Got it. What's your malfunction? Oh, probably that we didn't match them all, right? Boom. Very nice. Very nice. Is that what we want? Or do we want to do it the other way around? I'd like... Uh, hang on a second. Alright, I guess no sneeze was... I don't know, man. Mmm. <laughs> uh, is the sneeze coming or what? I don't know. Alright, so we could... So we could... We could do stuff like this, maybe. I think I do like the idea of like the skills kind of knowing which of them are based on arcane, you know, which of them are connected to an arcane background. I'm a little worried though, I'm afraid that like, well, doesn't the arcane background also need to know what skill it's connected to? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we should just keep it one directional that way, right? We don't want to have uh, things pointing at each other, I don't think. Uh, kind of super tight circular dependency there. We have to figure out who's kind of in the controlling relationship of what. And I do like the idea of like, you know, if you, if you, uh, if you don't have the correct arcane background, then you will not see these skills, right, for you to select them and to add to them and do stuff with them. So therefore, you know, the skill knowing what arcane background it's associated with seems reasonable for now. Uh, I think, uh, yes. I mean, like, yeah, well, yeah, you, you want to avoid, you want to avoid circular dependencies in code, generally, so, kind of the idea there. So that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm thinking about, like, hmm, I think I need to rename the skill type to something. I think that it has to be renamed to skill, right? So, we're, yeah, we want to go ahead and drive all of that. For our skill type, debug, partially, queue, serialize, you know, deserialize, serialize, all of the things. And I think we're just, I think we're gonna call it skill, right? Yeah, we're just gonna call it skill. And now it's though, it's gonna be mad, because skill's already defined, I know. And this right here, though, is, this is more of our skill data. Yeah, I think that this is our skill data, and so basically, I'm going to find the promised land. we don't need this as much anymore. Like, and even then, you know, it's almost like this is all the, like the pretty, the pretty data, right? It's not the um. Hmm. Yeah, so I think... 
we'll take care of stuff differently. Skill data. This is gonna help us to get labels and stuff from from ROM, right? And we can store those in our little ROM files. We can make all that happen. Ugh. All right, so we got some skilled datas. All right, what are we doing? What are we thinking about? So I've got so we've got a new skill now. My new skill knows what its linked attribute is. My new skill knows whether or not it's an arcane background. We've got some skill data that has a label and a description, and I'm not clear about whether or not I want to store the um, the skill tag here into it. I don't think that we do. And in fact, we might even be able to genericize this later. Uh, so, for instance, we have something similar going on here, right, with this kind. We're going to want to do something similar with him. I'm do something similar with arcane backgrounds. I'm trying to get away from a stringly typed API and to uh, one that's probably mo more reasonable for, for runtime. Right? So let's go ahead and bring back. You want arcane backgrounds? You can get those going. Alright. Let's get those going. Uh, pub enum arc bg. Like, there's already an arc bg. I know. So this you'll be the data though, okay? And you're gonna carry along things like this is the type of stuff where it's like, do I want this in the file, or do I want this to be hard coded? I feel like these things should not vary much at all. So maybe they should be hard coded. I feel like we already have skills I already know about their arcane backgrounds. Arcane backgrounds don't you know about their skills then? Unless I am very confused. Which you really should do it the other way. But I like the idea of I don't know. I guess for skills, you could just have a boolean in there, right? Like, has arcane, yeah, is arcane background. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. A lot, a lot of stuff to, a lot, a lot of nitty gritty sort of stuff to think about. I may be overcomplicating things again in my head. But it's okay. We're just gonna, hey, we're just gonna try to get going. I keep things moving and you know we do stuff and we learn from it and we do more stuff and then we learn from that that sounds like what we want to do so uh, gifted uh, magic miracles psionics and weird science all right cool that's, that's, that's that you so now what? Now we might want to impl arc background. Right. Is there anything that we wanted to get from it? I don't know. We could uh, we could see, right? Whether or not those types of circular dependencies matter. You just throw it in there. See what happens. It don't matter none, right? Other than that, we have like powers and points, right? Yeah, so we have a uh, function powers number self, right? We could what was this? A uh, U eight. Yeah, it's, it's pretty small, so we could just now say what match self. And now what are we gonna say? We're gonna say arc bg gifted thick arrow. And then what? This is for powers, right? One. Two, what do you want? Gifted, magic, miracle, psionics, weird science. So magic, miracles, psionics, and weird science. Alright, looking good.
Now, for magic, we want how many powers? Three. Right? Miracles. Three powers. Was it three? I thought I thought miracles was only two powers. Is miracles three powers or two powers, Wolfborn? Let's see. Silence, I think, is three. Weird silence, I think, is two. Alright, cool. Got it. Alright, so you do so we can do that. Right? Yeah. Boom. Let me get their points. Which is also a U8. Now it's a matter of as opposed to onesies, twosies. Fifteen. Ten. 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 Fifteen. I guess I could verify these things off screen at some point. Probably wouldn't do that anyway. So we got powers, we got that. We have to, yeah, let's just for fun. Let's just be like, all right. Let's, uh, there. Skill. Or linked skill, right? And then what? Skill. Focused. Right. Skill. Skill. Spellcasting. Skill. Oh. Um, was this faith? Yeah. Skill. Psionics. Skill. Weird signs. All right. So, I don't know. How do you how do you do with this sort of circular dependencies? <laughs> All right. So this guy's a little mad. Cause why? Cause something weird happened, and we're not gonna worry about it or discuss it. All right. Now what? Uh, use of an undeclared type or module skill type. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Apparently, I should have done some refactoring. Have IntelliJ do this for me. I'm a little late now, but. All right. All right. So that's all undeclared too. That's. Oh, just a couple of warnings. Alright, like what? Oh, nobody ever uses this function. Alright. <laughs> I have to make it, like, public or something? And then you'll stop complaining about it? That's a, that's a good way to tell whether or not, like, Oh, that public thing that I wrote. It's not public. Because it's complaining that nobody's using it. Oh man, it's still you're still gonna complain? Oh, I don't know, man. Why are you being like this? Associated function is never used. I made it public. But do, do, do I have to make? Is this what I need to make public? No. All right. So I was correct in making this public. Yes. All right. Then leave me alone about whether or not it's not used. <laughs> Ugh, some of the worst use warnings ever. I'm just, I'm just sitting here, minding my own business. Alright, let's, uh, I don't know, if I made it a public model. I think, I think there were less. No? Yeah. Yeah, I think it were, I think there were less, uh, warnings. Hey, look at that. Perfect code. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Cool. I'm going to find the promised land. Ah. It's good to stay hydrated. Yeah. 
now. Figure some stuff out. Stay hydrated. Keep things looking pretty. Alright. Three. Why are you saying three, Wolfborn? You really have to put stuff in context. You're too much of a delay for me to understand anything that you say. <laughs> uh, maybe that miracles really is supposed to be at three. That's fine. Three powers for miracles. All right. Oof. Oh man, all right, it's a little stretchy stretch. I keep my back and neck healthy. Yep, powers for miracles, all right. Yes, three powers, four miracles indeed. Thank you, Wolfie. All right, so. That's pretty cool. We're just kind of playing around. We got some enums. We got some arcing backgrounds. We're gonna do some circular dependency stuff. That's fine, whatever, who cares. Alright, because these are just these are just functions that say like hey. These are the links, right? So it's not really a part of its data model, I guess. It's just their functions know of each other. So it's like, eh. Whatever. What are you gonna do? Although right now, what? We don't quite have that, do we? Because we didn't finish it. Why? Because this is uh, wrong. Alright, so arc So now we want this to say arc BG. Alright, and now we can say what? Arc B G what? Um Miracles, yes. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and delete whoops. Let's delete these guys. Alright. So we say arc B G what gifted. Alright. Arc B G uh Psionics. Arc BG. Oops, not that one. We want magic. Alright. Now Arc BG for the miracles. Pretty sweet. Alright, now we've got. Now we've got some linked attributes for our skills. Now, as for this one here, it's uh, optional, right? Which is fine. Here, it's uh, it's not an option, right? You, right now, all arcane backgrounds are linked to skills. But there are other there are other kind of modules of Savage Worlds where they have things like, um, you know, uh, a skill per power. So if we wanted to do that, then we'd have to be able to accommodate that in our data model, which is uh, which is which is fine. So as we do, yeah. Mm. This is what we do. All right, man. Start figuring out how to rust document some of this stuff, right? So what do we have? We have arcane backgrounds. They're set up, ready to go. We've got some attribute types. We've got skills. Skills are kind of set up, ready to go. What else do we need? We have hindrance type and die type. All right, so this is this is like one of those like uh, these are like they should be up there with attribute types, I think, right? Just in terms of like just just be up here at the top of the file. We're gonna hurt nobody, getting in the way or nothing, and we'll call on you later. Sort of a thing, I think. Yeah. All right. So now. Oh, so we've got some arcane background, we got some attribute types, we got some other stuff. We've got a uh, match self, linked arcane background. Man, we are we are rocking. We are rocking. What are we rocking? We're rocking all the good stuff. Alright, so we've got kind. Kinds, yes, there's only gonna be so many of those and they actually have some interesting things for us to play with But they also have something that we haven't even gotten to yet 
Yes, powers for miracles. Yes. Oh wait, we already talked about that. Okay, Wolf Boy. <laughs> Thought I saw a movement over there on the right. Alright. So yeah, we got some skill data, right? And so that's that's the thing, right? For a lot of these things, right? So I think that Yeah. You know, yeah, we can get rid of a lot of that. This right here is actually gonna be like our kind data. All right, we don't, we don't have kinds anymore, just kind data. Our data is very kind to us today. All right, so it looks, looks kind of samey to skill data, but it's not, All right? We probably want a description in there. Ooh, should we be taking markdown and stuff? Ooh, I don't know, whatever we want, what, whatever our GUI has to support, really, right? <laughs> we want to keep things super simple. Alright, so we got some descriptions, we got some labels, we got some pluralities. Alright. For, uh, for races. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, label, descriptor, etc. Alright. Alright, got some skill data. And then, like, for our arcane backgrounds, yeah, it's gonna be kind of like this, this stringy one, see what I mean? Where it's like, maybe we could have some sort of, like, maybe a more generic type meta to be used. But on the other hand, we could keep it, we could keep everything distinct just as it is now. So that if we wanted to add something special for a given type later, it'd be super easy, barely any convenience. You just add it here, good to go, right? We can play around with that sort of idea. What else are we doing? Yeah, so these uh, these guys here, yeah, they especially need to be serialized to serialize. These are our serialized types here. And so we may even want to throw them into a slightly different place than some of this stuff, right? Although they are also serialized. Yeah. Oh. They have to be though, right? Because... Yes, the hash maps and stuff. I don't want them. What else? We got powers, we got points, we've got skills. There were, there were a few things already, I think, that we thought of. We needed to add. Such as... Yeah, I don't think we have kinds yet in here. No, we don't have kinds in here yet. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, let's get kinds going, shall we? Uh, we, we want a nope. We want a pub enum for kind, and this is going to have all of our kind stuff in it. Um, very cool. So we can say what we can say: human health. Okay. We can keep it alphabetical. And we can have uh, a Raka shot. It's just part of the fun, just playing around with stuff, seeing what we like. Yeah, we can go ahead, we can copy over these derives. Hooray. Now it's clonable, debuggable, partial EQable, deserializable, serializable. Any clone for all these things? I don't know. I don't know that we do. I'm also not sure if we want them for our public, e for, for our enums. I think that we had it going as a way to kind of play with hash map. But uh, yeah, but we don't need it. But, yeah, seems about right. All right. Seems about right. But what could we do? We could impl kind what kind of impl are we going for here well we know that we could use some sort of like core skills right for self right we want core skills for self and we want it to return some sort of like I think maybe a vec, 
Maybe no, no, no. Uh skill. I'm going to find I think that's what we want. I think that's what we want. Not hundred percent sure. We'll figure it out. The idea is I don't want people just adding to it willy nilly. I, oh yeah, I got the list back, and now I'm just gonna mutate it. Like, wait, what? No, do that. But uh, I don't know. I'm like, we'll we'll see whether or not it should be like a vac. Like whoever receives it, it's not the owner of it, right? Is kind of the idea there. And uh, I don't know. At the same time, it's like we're not really. Hmm. Yeah. Constantly running nose. Messing with me. Oh well, whatever. What are we gonna do? Alright, so we're gonna match on self here. And we're gonna say something like what? Uh kind colon colon elf. Boom. And we can say what? Vec bang. Uh what are the what are the core skills? Let's double check. What are the core skills? I think the skill athletics is a core skill. I think that skill common knowledge. I think that's a core skill. Let's see. I think that notice is a core skill. I think persuasion is a core skill. Persuasion. Alright. They're like, ah. Uh... Uh, there we go. There we go. On to. Three, four. And I think that stealth is a core skill. Alright. That is good. I'm kind of not liking certain things. That's okay. What do you want? Change return type of core skills to Vex skill. I mean... Good. Alright, fine. Okay. Vex scale. Yeah. Expected one. Oh, zero. Huh. Huh. Alright, sure. Vex skill, I guess. What's your problem? Match must be exhaustive. Alright, alright. I'll exhaust some things. Alright, I think right now we basically want them all for all of them. And I'm not 100% sure if we really need this. We're keeping in here like that for now to give me the flexibility for later and if we can if we determine that you no know, really everyone has the same exact set of set of core skills right then then we can go with that right we'll just hard code the car core skills somewhere and we'll be good to go so then you know yeah we're just gonna leave the five here for these guys looking good we've got elf human rakashan Looking good. So we've got some core skills there. Now what else do we need? I think that we need their abilities, right? Yeah. So we need some abilities. FN abilities. Uh, self. We got here. Vector of... Uh, 
stir for now, I guess. I don't know. Just to play around with having something, right? And then we'll replace it with uh, an abilities type later. Yes, this is kind of the idea. Right? So I can copy paste all of that. Now, boom, just come in here, clean all of this up since we're not coming back with skills. We can uh, align these guns. You know that elves have. What? Agility? Or agile? Yeah. Pretty sure that these guys have it too. These guys have adaptable, right? And so we can we can play around with that. Alright, these guys have like claws. Claws D4. Alright, D4. And as well as fangs. D4. Okay. Cool. And try to give elves something else that, yeah. Choosing kind is a fun... Yeah, I know, right? I think so. I think kind is a fun replacement. I think it's a, it's a more fun word. Play around with that. Just now noticing the, uh, the text from you there, Wolfie. So... Uh... All right, man, I need to like, I need to take care of my nose or something. Hang on, hang on. Hopefully that's uh, that's less bothersome now. When we can uh, we can get back to the business of programming, we gotta program some stuff and things. So what do we got for races? So we've got core skills. We've got abilities for them. Yeah, this looks this looks pretty fun. Yeah, kind of giving our kinds some stuff and things to play with. Yes. And they can, maybe we can vary up their core skills, we can vary up, uh, yeah, we can, uh, yeah. Abilities are definitely kind of in the, that's what we're going to be varying. Uh, what do we got here, Mr. Y'all? Apparently, today is talk like a pirate day. Arg. Yar. Hoist the sails and timber me, stuff and things. Arr. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if I'm really gonna talk like a pirate though. It just seems a little like mm, I don't know. It seems a little I don't know. So yeah, so we've already got some idea in here, right, for what types of abilities that we want. So we could I just make them. Right? Yeah, we could just we could just make it. All right, let's make some abilities. All right, pub, Enu. And I can uh, so we're gonna say ability, right? Man, this is all sorts of <laughs> data modeling today. I think we're we're on a roll. We're gonna get some stuff done. What do we got going? So, we already determined what? Agile, adaptable. Adaptable. Alright, what else? Uh, sure, claws. 
D4. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here's what you do. Oh, ready? Ready? Oh, yes! That's how you use rust enums. Alright, fangs. And then you say dying time. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. I love rusty enums. This is why. This is why. Right here. Right? <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's what that's what that is for. Absolutely. Alright, so now, right, when we come in here, we can fix this guy up, right? We can say, oh yeah. We don't, we don't want just some static strings anymore. We want ability. Oh, okay, wow. Well, what are we gonna get with these abilities? Right, so hang on. So we're gonna say agile, right? Boom. And then what? We can say, uh, oops, not, not agile. We want ability agile, right? Yes. Right, it says adaptable. Looking good. And now what? Now we can say ability agile. Close that guy. Oh, check this out. This is gonna be where it gets. This is gonna be where it gets real. All right. I'm gonna say claws. Die type D4. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is how that works. All right. And then what? Then we can say ability fangs die type d4 look at that oh let's go ahead and just put one to a line i guess that's fine <laughs> i mean look that's that's so i don't know i'm just i'm i'm, I'm enamored with enums I could be of types where you could be like yes he has claws they're d4 claws yes he has fangs they're d4 fangs as opposed to d6 ones or d8 ones or whatever right you just like boom this is an ability that a thing has they have it and here's the modifier for it boom it's all there super nice super awesome ready to go yeah, so... Now what? So we have... So we have kind data defined already, I think, but now I guess we need ability data. Alright, enums! Yes, enums for the win! For the win! That's what I'm saying. Alright, so we got... Where did our kind data go? There it is. Cool. Yeah, see, so we got some kind data, some skill data, so then we can do, like, what? Um, Construct ability data. All right, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep on keeping on with these derives. All right, to do what? To do things like yes, we want a label. It's gonna be a string. We want a description. It's gonna be a string. There's some pattern here with these sorts of things. Labels and descriptions. All right. Again, I think we're keeping them. We're, we're gonna keep them distinctish for now. Uh, make sort of type specific stuff easier to implement later. Is I think the hope there. Uh, you may also want to throw these out in some sort of a sub module or something else. Right. Yeah, maybe a data module. I don't know. Keep them a little separated from uh, from what's going on in here. Like, they don't even reference the types. They, they, they don't even reference it. Their entire job, basically, is to be structs uh, in, in the values portion of a hash map. Right? Where the key is our, is our, magical, e our, our magical enums up here, I think. That's sort of what we're doing. Um, let's see, we got abilities now. I don't think that they need anything special. We'll, we'll find out. You know. They'll probably need some sort of implementation later, right? So the whole point of this, I think, is... 
you know, so the user is going to be able to choose these things, right? And so then as they choose them, it, it kind of fills out a character sheet, right? But like, you're just having something like some edge tag or whatever doesn't do anything, right? So we have to have that represented in like the character's data model somewhere. And so that's where a lot of this stuff will come in. Wow. I'm just... Yeah. I'm pretty happy with the claws and die type thing. I mean, that's... That's pretty cool, right? Uh, we could probably even do something similar with Agile to say, like, what die type do you want Agility to start in? Maybe, uh, you, usually this trait makes it so it's a D6, right? But maybe, uh, maybe we'll want something that starts off with a D8. Yeah, you know, Agileness. So we could, so we could play with these things later. You know, figure some stuff out, right? So we, uh, so we got a bunch of things. What else do we got? Um, so I think that we've covered a lot in terms of what we we're playing with already. Yes, so now I think we could still load up, so we still want to do some serialization, right? So we can go ahead, I think, and what? So, he, so for instance, there's here's these guys, right? And yeah, it looks looks per, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, but it's gonna be a little different. Here. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a little different. Here. Let's try. So let's go back into our main. Or hopefully, there's not too too much going on anywhere, right? Is there stuff going on? There's some stuff going on. All right, we're gonna use create the model pub mod model fine. Uh, we got some bomb. We got bomb path and stats. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna extend this. We're going to extend this out. We want to just pretty sure you just extend this all the way to the end. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, now, what now? What sort of warnings am I gonna get about unused everything? Right? That's okay. We're about to we're about to get some we're about to figure some stuff out here. All right. So now, what I do like are I do like this guy. We're gonna keep him, and we'll just go ahead. We're gonna copy it up here. So that we can kind of see it better. Not quite ready to use it yet. New. Nope. So now for fun, what I'm going to do is, you know, you know, rather than like learn the wrong format and how to do this properly and everything else, right? That's a that takes time. Why would I? Why would I do all that? Whew, too much time. So what are we going to do? We are going. To serialize some stuff out, right? So we're gonna say something like let uh, let's go with yeah the arcane backgrounds, right? The arcane backgrounds arc arc bgs is equal to wow. Are you seriously that mad already? There, now leave me alone. Um, yeah, this guy, you want him to be a hash map, right, of arc bg, right, to what? To the arc bg data. Ah, oh, thanks, IntelliJ, for catching that and making that happen. Cool. And we're going to say what? Uh... I had a cool thing going with Bob earlier where like, yeah, you could just sort of do this guy here and it's purdy and you can just sort of like, boom, got it, right? That's kind of the idea. 
And then we can, yep, collect. And then what? That's a semicolon there, right? Cool. Like not, this is what we're going to do here now, is we're going to say... We're not enter... Alright, so let's make a new line. Because what we're going to do is we're going to say arc BG. Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, gifted. Alright, and then we can say arc BG data. Boom, right? To say what? Label is gifted. Right? And then what? Uh, description is something, right? Uh, like, like, gifted stuff and things. All right, cool. And then we can just erase all that. All right, what's your malfunction? Really, these, these fields are private. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I need to publicize them. So, the stream itself has been smooth. It's just the intro. Again, that may be true, but it increased your lag, right? So maybe the buffering, you know, it increased your buffering size. Alright. So let's, uh, yeah. Let's get all that going in there. Pub all of the things! All things are public now. Everything is public now. That's what they say. <laughs> Some Julian Welch. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? Bump, bump. Miracles. Alright, bump. And. Alright, cool. Yeah, you know, faithy stuff. And things, cool, got it. So now we've got a couple of these guys and they're ready to go. Cool, let's serialize them. Alright, get out get back out here, pretty config. But we're not gonna serialize all that. New we're gonna, we're gonna serialize, we're gonna serialize what? Uh, our, our A, our ABs, okay? Serialize the ABs. Two strings, right? Setter, setter. We're gonna say arc BGs. Cool. That there looks good. Looks good. So then we could say what? We're gonna, uh, here are our, uh, ABs. Boom. And sir, ABS. Cool. Got that. Save it. Pilot. Error. Error. Mismatch types. Alright, that's fine. I mean, you want that to be a string, so we're going to do an into there. Alright, and we're going to do into and into. Alright. Look ain't pretty. The land. Yeah, there she goes looking for that promised land again. Ah, oh, it's pretty sweet. All right, got an hour and forty minutes into this. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's good to start the day off right. Get some coding done. Get some coding done with the Nigmas. All right, so we uh, got any errors now? Got any errors now? Collect. Hmm. EQ is not implemented for model arc BG. It's not, is it? It is not. All right. Hash is not satisfied. All right. Yeah.
Okay, so now it's mad about clone. Why is it mad about clone? It's mad because this said it had to be a clone. Ah. Huh. Alright, well that's fair. So, where did like our, all our EQ and stuff go? That's with, uh, what do you call it? Skill? Yeah, this guy. Alright. Wow. Alright. So, anything else that we want to use as a key in a hash map, we should, uh, probably... Like this guy here. We should go ahead and give him his EQ and hash derives. Right? And we got some ability, same thing. EQ and hash derives. Kind, yeah. You're gonna need you're gonna need you're gonna need some of that. EQ and hash and, and whatnot. Alright. Kinds modifier source. We don't have that for you yet. We don't. Thing. All right, that's fine. Control nine. All right. Now what? EQ is not implemented for die type. Does it need to be? I guess in order for that to work, huh? Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, EQ for die type as well then. All right. Hash is not implemented for die type. Oh, I'm getting a. All right. Let's propagate all the things, I guess, right? Hey! It, uh, it compiled. That's all fun and good. Yeah, we're not gonna worry too, too much about those... about these things not being used. Heck, if I, if I put pub in front of it, we'll, we'll quiet down about it. Yeah, intro. Right. Cool. Alright, let's just pub all the things. Pub all the things. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe we should be putting uh, some of the data related stuff maybe into its own little data module. Theoretically, that's where I'd put model. Hmm, I don't know. Got some business logic stuff going. We got some other things going. Alright. Alright. Some more warnings. Uh, things that are never ever used, but these things should be public. Pretty sure that's the point of them, right? Yeah, I don't want this have to be public anyway. Um. Okay, I don't care about unused imports. Is that all you got? Some unused, some unused imports. All right, I don't care. <laughs> right on unused imports. All right, create model ability agile. This you already have it. It's in here, man. I don't need to use that in here. That didn't make any sense. All right, one morning. All right, and why? Because dude stats isn't used. Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna worry about that. Sweet. All right, we are. We are getting going. We are making things happen. So, what are we going to do? We're going to run the program now. And look at what we got. Alright. So, that right there is all we need in our RON. Check that out. So what, so what was a string, right, is now just text. Right. Okay, looks smart. Uh, yeah, we should put space there, it's fine, all right. Description, all right, all the stuff and things. Sweet. So look at that. All right. So we're going to want the same thing. So we did miracles for some reason. So let's go ahead and throw magic up in here. And capital M. Got that going. Got a little label. Magic. And now what? Now we've got... We don't need any of that. 
but it would be nice to have a little description. Alright, could uh, show these things off. Get some labels going. Our UI will love this stuff. That is what we are doing. Yes? All aspects of the program need to work in concert with all of the things. Okay, pretty sure this here could just be like that. And then that should find it. It would be good. Oh, we got some weird assignment. So again, we don't need skill ID. Are the powers? Are there anything else? Because all of that is nicely hard coded now. Which is good. Alright, so boom. And what is this? Description. Oh, alright, cool. So, so, ma magic y stuff. Things. Uh, you know. Uh, mind powers. Mind powers. Alright, and weird science. Uh, God. Uh, Right, gadgety stuff. All right, cool. So those are those are our very good descriptions of the things, and apparently I am missing something. Yes, for this is mad. Why is this mad? I expected a thing. I got a differenty thing. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure why. That's more or less what we've been doing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so that's open that, right? Open curly, gifted, colon, open perin. You're not mad because of that, are you? No? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. What are you mad about? Yep. That really doesn't make. Hmm. Hmm. Something expected. Not that. I honestly cannot see what on earth it could be complaining about. This is basically all we did. We pasted that, right? And that's from Sert. This should be valid. Yeah. Not sure what's going on. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it and be like, whatever, dude. Like, whatever. Alright, cool. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and try loading it, right? Now we're gonna. So we did, um. So we basically. We, we, did, the, we did the serialization to make sure that we understood the Ron format, which. Hmm, I thought we did. Maybe it's IntelliJ that doesn't understand the wrong format, right? I don't know, I can't imagine that we're really missing something there. It just doesn't... That don't seem right. Alright, so let's, um... And we can put all of this stuff away. We don't need it. What do we need? We need... Yeah, we want to load up these arcane backgrounds like we were before. Okay. So we can go ahead, you throw that out here. Alright, and then what are we going to do with it? Oh yeah, then we can, we can come back to our Legion Playground, right, where we load up the stuff and things that we, uh, we serialized, alright?
Yep, so we're gonna we're gonna load it all up. And right now though, we're just gonna focus on the arcane backgrounds because that is what we did. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm going to comment all the stuff out that does not matter. And now, oof, look at this. So we've got all sorts of things here. We need to flip some stuff around, right? This, for instance, is going to be a kind, and this is going to be a kind data. Yes, all right. So that's what we want in there. Just like this guy now, he's going to have a skill for a key and a skill data for what we've got going, yeah? All right, what else do we want? And for list arcane backgrounds, this is going to be an arc BG, and this is an arc BG data. Very good. Yep. All right. Now, right here is about loading the stuff, right? So we need to change the things for loading the stuff too. From kind to kind data. Get all that stuff going. Yep, cargo manifest juror. That looks correct. We want that looks correct. Got a whoop whoop. Uh huh. I see. I see. That's fine. So is it's kind and kind data. There we go. Ah. Kind. Oops. No. This is a skill and skill data. All right, then we're gonna get from the skills path here. That's kind of the idea. All right, so skill and skill data. All right, looks good. What else? Oh, we could just. Arc BG and Arc BG data. That looks good. And we can change you now to say Arc BG and Arc BG data. All right. So all our loads and all our systems now should be happy. The data's not quite there yet, though. So that's why in the top here, we're just testing out. Uh, this guy, right? Which now is correct and says arc BG, arc BG data. All right, so wow, we got a we got a bunch of includes now from our model. All right, boom! Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And uh, what? Control Shift. There we go. Oh, that up. Make it pretty, I guess. Ouch, all right. It's fine. Now. Mm-hmm. The idea here was to print out what it was that we found, right? Using our system. Using that. So. Yes. Yes. And. Control line. I can't find Bob stats. Oh, Bob stats. Where did you go? Uh, we're not going to worry about you then, I guess. Yeah? Yeah, uh, we're just, uh... Here, tell you what. Go ahead and do that. And... Sure. Boop. And boop. And boop. We're not going to worry about that. Wow, look at that. Kind of compiles. Woo! And there we go. There we go indeed. Check that out. Wow! Alright, so yeah, here are our keys. There are enumeration keys. They're being used inside of the hash map, just like we wanted. They are, you know, they're... Here's some arcane background data. The arcane background data has our, has our label, has our descriptions. All right, that's what we want. This is very good, very good, very good. Now, 
Now basically we're going to use this guy here as like the template and now all of the other things are just going to do what that did. Alright, uh, yep, all of the other things are going to do what that did. So we're going to start off with kinds. There's only three of them, so that's helpful, right? Although, hmm, abilities are good to have. Yes. Alright, we don't need that stuff. We don't need that stuff no more. We've simplified. We have simplified! What does this have? Okay, open curly, close curly. We want something like human, I think. You just say human, right? Because that's the name of the key, I believe. And then we say label human. And we say description is... You know, oh, we, no, we want plural. Plural. Right? Humans. Yes, humans. And we got some descriptions. Uh, very human-y is the description for humans. And seriously, what else could you say about humans? I think that says it all. That is the point. All right, yes. Now, uh, what is this label? Uh, elf, right? Cool and... Pl nope. Nope. Plural. Yeah, I'm thinking that this ROM plugin doesn't work too good. It's telling about all sorts of errors that we don't have. It's just very alfy. Yeah, that one's got some extra dots for fun in games. Okay. Rakashan. Boom, comma, and label. And then what? The plural and the desk. Let me get our little data's going here. Doing some data entry. Are they human or are they dancer? Indeed, Wolfborn. <laughs> No, that'd be, that'd be, uh, I don't know, we have to come up with a race for that, right? That'd be our, our kind, I guess, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, it turns out dancers really are a different kind. Who knew? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's funny. Alright, uh, yeah, we could, yeah, we could, we could do something like that. Alright, so we got some elves. Up in here, their descriptions, and then what? Rock, Rakashans. Like Rakashans? Rakashani? I kind of like Rakashani. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Is that like, is that a good plural? Or is that more like a... Yeah, it seems kind of... It seems like a plural, right? Kitty, kitty... No. That's our, that's our description there for the Rakashans to help players make educated decisions about choosing what sort of kind they want their characters to be. This is the sort of thing that I think that's what helps. That's what helps. That's what helps to make things super cool, super good. Oh man, I am like, I am tearing stuff up. I'm tearing the programming up. All right. What do we got here? So that was that was kinds. I'm gonna celebrate a little early. I still have a few files left to go. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright. Well luckily this mostly exists. What do we need to do? We basically need to transform the keys here into making sure they match up with what is in our model. I'm gonna close that there, to double click on it here to open it up. And we've got some skills somewhere, right? All right. So we just want to make sure that we're matched up with that. Uh, I don't think we don't need this implicit sum anymore because we're not worried about whether or not they link up with an arcane background in this file anymore. Uh, yeah. All right, because we're gonna use we're using the power of the Rust Enum to conquer all. 
for the purpose of conquering all. Man, how's it going? Where, where, where are my people at, man? What are you guys, what are you guys thinking about? What are you guys doing on your Saturday? Especially watching a crazy guy like me just talk about e-news and like whatever else it is, right? So let's, uh, yeah, I think these keys, we're just gonna keep going with them. Gambling, right? Yeah, we wanted that, so hacking. Healing. Uh huh. I see. Very fickle, these viewers are. Yes, very fickle indeed. You don't like seeing people do work like that. Oh, we're gonna make some stuff happen, though, yeah? Yes. Yes, make happen. What's that? Oh, maybe they came from programming, not whatever this is. Data entry is important too, man. Oh gosh, you're having a magical day while watching me. Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy, Wolfie. Yeah, you and your magical days. Oh. Oh man, I need to lean back in my chair before I hurt my back and neck. Getting old. Getting old. Can't program like I used to. Can't program like I used to. Love it. Ah, thievery. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty good. Alright, so what? Bump. Give me some faith up in here. I guess some psionics. Whoops! There we go. There we go. Weird. Oh, and this one's different to you because we can do that. Hooray! Otherwise, very good. Very good. Woof! Alright. Now we don't need this sort of stuff. And this is what Sublime Text is really good at. This sort of editing right here. Oh, heck, I'm gonna do that, right? and descriptions now for all of the skills and that should be it I think yes yes now there's no longer a need for separation oh separate them anyway that don't hurt nothing all right skills.run is it's been transformed see see Wolfie that's how you do data entry I don't know what you were doing before but that's that's how you do it <laughs> I, I tease, I tease. I kid, I kid. I don't know. Alright, what are we doing? Yeah, so now we're going to bring skills back out here. We're going to load up some skills. Skill is the key. And skill data is what we're going for there. Yes, yes. Now. But now we will insert skills into our resources. I think we can do the same thing with kinds. I think we did kinds already too. Ah, oh, yes, I think we do. Excellent, excellent. So we still want this node to change to kind and kind data. There we go. So that we can load kinds. Yes. Oops. Man, this is... That's what the code looks like, boys and girls. This is what it is. It's rough. We're in the trenches. You dig it through all the muck. 
Ugh. I'm trying to serialize all of the things. To do some serialization. Do some deserialization. Wow. Wow, did we print out. We printed out kinds. We printed out arcane backgrounds. We printed out skills. Look at all them resources that we added to our Legion world. Yes. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, well, what else do we have? We have a few things, right? Yeah. So we can close them off real quick. Come back out to our, to our gizmo here. In terms of, okay, so we did our game background, right? Good. Right? Did that. We did skills. We have not yet done abilities. Yes, all right. Let's uh, come into our data and add. Whoa! That was, uh. That wasn't desired. Alright, that's okay, because we're gonna say new file. What are we gonna say? What kind of new file? Abilities.run. Boom! Yeah, add it or whatever. Yeah, I don't care what you do. Do something. Alright, this has been, it's been great. So we can say agile. Boom. And then what? Boom. And boom. Cool. Adaptable. Alright. Ooh, claws. Well, yeah, I think that's all we need there, right? Yeah, pretty confident that that is all we need. Why does this thing keep insisting? Ron Togatype. Alright. I expected. I don't know. I, but I got a different thing. Let's calm down, dude. What's your problem? Alright, thanks. Here's some doors and stuff behind me. Well, it wasn't meant for me, so let's keep going. Alright, what sort of label do we want to see here? Labels and descriptions, right? Cool. Let's go ahead, yeah, let's go ahead and add our patty in here, so we can just do copy, paste. Sweet. Alright. We can start off with adaptable, since it's the, the longest. And then we can go ahead and columnize our stuff here. Which these guys should also... As per the rust pattern, have comments there. Now, yes, now what? And uh, probably shouldn't have done these spaces yet, but whatever. Uh, clouds and fangs. All right. So what? Nat natural weapons. Clouds. Natural weapons. Clouds. Boom, boom, looking good. Now what? Now we got some adaptable stuff, right? We're, we're gonna adapt. We're gonna like, like, you know, uh, fr free edge. Right? Start with a D6 in agility. Unless we want to make that a uh, variable later, right? You can just change it to like start with enhanced agility. Boom! That's what we're gonna do. Woof! All right. So I think that that fulfills our ability data. Yes. We have, here is the ability data with labels and description. Here we are, yes, ability data. All right, looking cool. So abilities, yes, they have the EQ, they've got the hash, and everything there is looking pretty. So, what does that mean? That means we could add a new type of resource. Yeah, let a build. Cash map ability with ability data. I'm gonna say load 
abilities. Question simmer. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Whoop, just four. One, two, three, four. Boom. 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 All right. Looks good. Come down here. Let me go ahead and just copy. And paste. And this right here is where you know, like, huh, I wonder if I can come up with a general function where I could just take in some parameters or something and get back the things that I want without having to have, like, four different versions of it. And uh, that's, uh, that's the type of thing we'll get to later. And we'll see what uh, Rust has in terms of helping us to get that sort of work done. Whoa, I think I changed the wrong one. I changed, changed the wrong ones, you guys. Yeah, we want, uh, those kinds, and, yes, okay. I'm gonna change this first kinds here to be load, what? Abilities, great. Uh, ability and ability data. Cool, this is our Bills path where we've got the abilities. run right cargo manifest short. The other thing we need to figure out is some good file system y stuff, right? At some point, we need to find either find a good library or something else to help us to locate our resource files from a variety of places. So that'll be. That'll be good and fun to have, yes? Yes. Alright, so. Abilities. Ability. Ability data. Yes. Now, we got some sort of kinds path? No, we need our ab abilities path. Sweet, and you are going to return our abilities. Yes. Yes. Hmm. All right, cool. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. Control nine. I'm going to find the oh, a couple of lame warnings. About like what? Ah, yes. We still need to use our bills. Yes. All right. So resources dot insert our uh, bills. All right. And then that. And then we're going to list them. Yes. Add system. These are terrible systems, by the way. They are destined for the trash. That's okay. Abilities. We are going to use them for now. For the purposes of just, like, we're throwing stuff into Legion. We're giving some sort of experience with it, right? Kind of a thing. And this is, like, another thing where maybe... You've got four four functions that look exactly the same. Maybe you should figure out how to write them more generically. But, okay, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yes, yes, because we want to list our abilities. All right, bills, ability. Ability data. Whoa. And what? Abilities. Alright, looks good. K here is going to be for our ABL. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, bills. Is there a truck outside my house? Maybe. I'm not going to worry about it. Cool. Yeah. Don't worry, just program. Woo doo doo. Alright. Got some abilities. Ability. A bill. That all looks pretty dope. Alright, see what that does. Oh, boom. Oh, function with a similar name exists. I gonna spell something somewhere? I don't know. Let's try a list. Abilities. 
Must have misspelled it. All right, yes, truck outside summer. No worries. All right, be happy. Ooh, we got some sort of error, summer. Hmm. Well, it must be with abilities, right? Line four, column A. Okay. Hmm. Expected struct. Huh? So, let's go back to our abilities, right? We have some sort of abilities run, right? Line four, comma eight. Hmm, Kyle's. This is like column A. Here's to be line four. Unless this is line zero. It looks very much the same as everything else I've done. Plows and fangs. Alright. Go back to our model. Yes, clouds. Uh-oh. I think it's mad. Yep, I think it's mad. Why is it mad? Ooh, I think it's mad about the die type not being there. It says it expected some sort of a struct, which that sounds crazy, right? That sounds... That sounds crazy. Alright, so what happened here, then? So... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. For our key... What if I just... What if I did that? Alright. And then we could say... D4 clause. Right, D4 fangs. Uh, we have D4 here. These aren't exhaustive anymore because we'd have to go all the way up to 12. All right. In order for it to be exhaustive. Ah, oh, but yes, that was the problem. Wow. Natural weapons. Wow, so this right here should say fangs, right? D4 damage. And the same thing with this guy here. Now we could make these a little more exhaustive, yes. Now, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Alright, six, eight, ten. All right, so that looks pretty good. A little bit of format. There we go. Then we got what? Uh, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Sweet. And a little bit of yeast. Yes, this that's good. All right, right, and then we can come back in here into our descriptions, right? And we say, what, 6, 8, 10, 12. All right, oh, my fangs. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 6, 10, and 12. Yes. Yes, it looks good. Good. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eight. Now what? Now six, eight, ten, twelve. There you go. Now at least that way it is exhaustive and what ever we decide that we can have it's all there yes 
Like we got we got all sorts of abilities. We've got all sorts of arcane backgrounds. We've got all sorts of skills and kinds. <laughs> I like how kinds is printed out here first. Pretty funny. But all right. It tells you that uh, these things are going at somewhat you know the same time. I think that they are concurrent, but not necessarily parallel. I mean, I didn't exactly sell it to do any parallel stuff, right? But it's apparent that the systems are trying to, like, like, kind got printed, there's some abilities, right, there's some ABs, and a bunch of skills, and then look back to kinds here at the end. Yeah, so I don't think it's parallel per se, but maybe concurrent. And it'll take breaks from the various systems to do other stuff. Alright, wow! We've got all sorts of data loaded up into our program. We've gotten rid of the string typed stuff, right? So we no, we no longer have a stringly typed API. This is good. This will be uh, very good for performances, for other things, etc., etc. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to cringe about the weird ownership problems, right? Or of uh, mutable string keys for these hash tables, right? It's like, mm, yeah, I don't, I don't worry about that sort of stuff. But now we've got we've got all these enums here capturing so much so much stuff that's going on for us. All right, let's go ahead and bring bring him back over. Let's close out our ROM files. All right, so we might we still may want to do a little bit of separation here between kind of the core data elements though, and our our our, our core kind of model that our game really needs all the time. Right? Versus like these data elements here, which are mostly useful, I think, for the UI. Which I guess, you know, you might, you know, hey, that's part of the game too, and that's going to display all the time. Yes, I know, there's a difference between the business logic side of things, right? Versus the, what, what you display to the, to the user. I think that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. So yes, yeah, so we've got, so we've got a bunch of these little data structs in here. Uh, maybe maybe we could uh, figure out what a good way to like because right now all all of their sort of serialization stuff in terms of how do we read them from a hash map how do we do all this stuff right it's all kind of just scattered around in our main function so that seems that that is, that is no bueno no bueno yeah so we what do we want what do we want we want yeah, we want to have some sort of some sort of data, you know, thing. These could be functions inside of a module like that. So they would be kind of floaty functions, not tied to, you know, the implementation of a thing at all. So that's good, right? And no, no selfs in there or anything else. We could we could then genericize some of these load functions. I think, right? Where, like, this result here basically becomes a type T. We pass in this string here, right? And then, like, and then eventually we'll find some sort of a file system library to help us, or we'll write one that can help us to find our resources from a wide variety of locations. That way, when we're ready to package up the game and distribute it, uh, you know, everything's, everything's good to go and everything's happy. Uh, yes, so this is this is good. We got rid of our string types. We, we still have lots of data going on in here. Uh, we're playing all around a little bit with circular references, I think, maybe. It's it's kind of weird because like they don't really point to each other inside of the structs themselves, right? So this arcane background, like it doesn't it's just an enum, right? Yeah, but we have, we, but his functions know about skill, right? And so then, if we go to skill, we'll see that his functions, well, they they know they know about arcane background. So it's like, hmm. So far, it all compiles and seems good. I'm not sure about the uh, the circular dependency sort of thing going, but these are. You know, we're, we're developing a game here, not enterprise software. So it's like, eh, maybe the rules are different. I don't know. I don't know. 
I know a lot of people just, you know, get stuff working! Get it working, get it working, get it working! And then, like, you know, I don't know. That's fine. That's fine. All right. All right. I think it is time for a lunch break. I've been going at this for about two and a half hours now. Uh, doing pretty well, I think. We got a lot of stuff done. We'd be very proud of ourselves. Uh, let's see. So we got rid of Bob's stats there. We might want to try to bring Bob back and or double check. Yo, Bob. Bab. What's going on with your stuff there, Bab? Is there anything that we need to change to your data model due to our having completely, like, upended the, um, what we were doing there? Alright, so let's, uh, let's look for, let's look for dude stats. Alright, cool. I think he's, he's at the end, which is fair. He's off, he's off by his, his lonesome. But hey, man, he's got a, he's got a string model. Or he's got a string for name. Got a string for mother. He has a date of birth. Of type of naive date. Kind ID. Ooh, yeah! See, that's what I'm talking about right there. We don't need that no more, right? We could just say kind. And kind. Right? Check that out, right? So now, when we go into the Bob Chansey Ron... Right? We, we don't have to, we're not just going to put that in quotes. We're going to say it out here. Boom! Human! Like it's a type or something. Bam! Right? And now what? Now we can try... Let's try loading Bob back in, shall we? Yes! Wait, I don't think we wanted... I don't think we want that. I think we want to move... What do we want to move? I'm going to move this guy here so that we can grab Bob now from the reader into our Bob stats to put him back into our Legion ECS sort of style world here. All right. Compile. There's some unused stuff. It's fine. Shift F10. Error code. Missing field. Kind. I know we just changed that. Oh, no. Two, three. Boom. All right, shift F10, and there we go. Bob has been successfully read in. Is there anything that we wanted to do to print out Bob? Uh, yes. We shall print Bob back out with our good old serialization play code that we made here. Oops. This is why we did not just delete the stuff. Alright, we wanted it out of the way while we're working on something else, but now we're back into it. Wow, look at all this output that we got. And there is Bob Chansey, and he is kind human. Woo! Alright, yeah, 2.30 exactly. It is, in terms of uh, session time, that's pretty cool. We are... Yeah, we did quite well. We did a whole bunch of stuff and things like we discussed before. We are no longer stringly typed. Bob can now rely on things like kind as a human. Look at that little type there. Very precise. Very good. It's the exact sort of thing I think that you need in this sort of a data model. Where, you know, this is what the kinds are. Boom. Done. End of story. That's what it is. Thank you, Rust Enums. And thank you all for watching. I am Enigmas. I've been coding with you today uh, for the Apocalypse Road Trip game written in Rust uh, by us. So I will see you guys sometime after lunch, hopefully, today. Thank you, Wolfie, for the compliment. All right, so goodbye.